Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys watched the last video where I was talking about Brad Pitt and his journey out of atheism. What if they didn't watch the video? Hopefully you guys watched my previous video which was about Brad Pitt. Hopefully, that sounds a bit desperate. In my previous video I talked about Brad Pitt leaving atheism oh, yes. and the choice and the reasons behind why mate. But even though Brad Pitt made it very clear that he is no longer affiliated with atheism. This guy tweeted me saying he's still not convinced mate. I mean what does Brad Pitt have to do? Tattoo it to his forehead. Well now however there is a famous Pakistani actor by the name of Hamza Ali Abbasi who has pretty much said the same thing that he's left atheism. So I became an atheist when I was 14-15. Science was actually something which brought me back to uh, being a theist. Ashraf, I hope that's good enough for you bro. <coughs> Hamza has millions of followers. Now this is because he's appeared in Pakistani dramas, movies. I mean the guy's well known in Pakistan. His 20 minute video where he's literally opening his heart out and talking about his journey is gonna send shockwaves amongst the youth in Pakistan. When the painful process this journey finally Allah In fact, I love the way he says that he looked into science, he took away the biases that are attached to and the stigmas that are attached to Islam. So when I have all the cultural, social biases, emotional biases when I saw Islam, I saw that God was looking at me. Because some of you guys watching, the reason why you guys don't want to accept Islam is because of what you've heard or seen in the media or what's perceived in your mind. In all of our lives, there is a situation that we have to say that we call the death of death. We don't like to think about it, we don't like to talk about it. We have completely taboo our death, but it is such a big irony that our life's biggest truth is the death of death. So I felt that after that death, there is a very beautiful واقعہ ہونے والا ہے جس کو ہم کہتے ہیں روز قیامت کی یعنی کہ میں نے اپنے پروردگار اپنے بنانے والے کے سامنے میری جواب دہی ہوگی اس زندگی کی جو میں اس دنیا میں جی رہا ہوں اس نے ہلا دیا مجھے اس نے میری 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 زندگی پہ پرسپیکٹو کو چینج کر دیا نا لو دس پہ یا ہی گوز دین آئی اسٹارٹڈ پونڈرنگ آن ڈیتھ اینڈ دی ریئلٹی اف ڈیتھ اینڈ اف کورس دی جرنی دی ڈے اف ججمنٹ دیٹ کمز آفٹر ڈیتھ now this is brilliant because the prophetic tradition encourages us to do that. Bro, don't talk about death in it. Uh, why? If you ignore it and don't talk about it, it's not going to happen in it. Bro, have you been drinking shampoo again? Because I had two bottles to start with and now I've only got one. If I'm acting, I'm going to be the best in the world. I'm going to get the best in the world. I'm going to get the best in the world. I'm going to die again. Let's face it. Be it in any field, the people that you spend a lifetime trying to impress, sometimes going as far as sacrificing your beliefs. I mean, this could be not praying at work because you're embarrassed, or not asking if the meat is halal because you don't want to upset the butcher, or just not adorning the beard or the hijab. But these very people whose approval that you desperately cling on to when you pass away, they forget you. I mean look at the people that are supposedly popular in our society. You've got the Michael Jacksons, the Malcolm X's, the Martin Luther Kings. We read about them, maybe remember them once a year, but that's about it. I have made my life that I want to go to God. I want to talk about God. I want to talk about this news. I want to talk about this life that is going to be a very amazing life. Call it a religious activist, call it a dawa. Hello? I want to do dawa mate. Excuse me? I want to do dawa. 
You what? You're not listening to what I'm saying. Oh, you want to you do dawa? Yeah, dawa, mate. Okay. Dawa the dawa. Now, this guy went one step forward. Not only was he influenced by Islam, but he now wants to share that message with people. And that's what makes our ummah special. And that's what Allah says in the Quran, that you are the best people raised for mankind because you enjoin good and forbid evil. Then I'm going to give Allah Ta'ala ka shukar hai ke jis ghar mein mein paida hua waha pe itne zariyai maash maujood hain ke mera survival ek bade achhe tarike se zindagi mein ho jayega matlab itne sources of income maujood hain ke mera survival is sorted then i thought okay because insaan ka primary maqsad zindagi mein hota hai survival phir main socha chale ye sorted hai to kya zindagi mein maqsad hona chahiye it's all well and good wanting to do it but you got to be stable you need your education once you're educated you can get a decent job that's not that labor intensive because let's face it if you don't get the grades you're gonna have a very labor intensive job and by the time you come home after a long shift you're knackered a lot of these people that have good grades they're literally just sitting on their backside all day just exercising their fingers i mean their fingers have got bigger six packs than their you know one family giant flabby pack he talked about how he's stable and then he was like yo I mean why do I need to carry on accumulating money why don't I share this message and that's beautiful but main isliye kinara kashi bade lambe arse tak ikhtiyar kar raha hu ki koi ye na samjhe khuda na khas to main koi mashhoor hone ke liye kar raha hu ya whatever respect to this guy because it is not easy to give up your career especially when you're adored by loads of people because now that he's linked to the religion naturally he's going to get loads more haters but let's face it he's seen all the glitter and the glamour of the industry and this guy turned his back towards it but what are we running towards are we running towards the leftovers that he's left I mean this there was a very beautiful quote that I heard that we are literally licking what these people have spat out whether it's Brad Pitt whether it's Sonny Bill Williams from New Zealand the rugby player all of these guys say the same thing whether Kevin Hart or Kanye West that this lifestyle does not satisfy the soul to mera koi agenda nahi hai mera sirf zindagi mein maqsad ye hai ki jo dil se dil se sach samjhunga wo kahunga Yeah, Hamza, you got to be careful with that sort of stuff, mate. Yeah. Benefit of the doubt, maybe you didn't mean that in the in that sort of way. Stick with the authentic sources, stick with the scholars and you'll be fine. When you start, you know, delving down at what he says, you don't know if there's a bit of ego mixed with that, a bit of shaitan, you know, adding his masala in there as well and cooking a, you know, a dodgy out of date curry. You never know, mate. Because the problem is when people start getting followers, they start giving their opinions. And when you start giving your opinions, yeah, we've got a tradition that goes all the way to the prophet. There are chains established link between our scholars and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When some average joke comes in says, "Yeah, in my opinion, mate, no one cares about your opinion." Just like if you had a lump and some random guy said, "Yeah, that's cancer." Who are you, mate? Uh, I'm a plumber. Well, go I mean my toilet's blocked to sort that out isn't it ke jab tak hum khuda ke sath apne ahad ki pasdari nahi karenge hum khuda ko allah taala ko islam ko apni zindagi ke center stage mein nahi leke aayenge hum apni islah nahi karenge tab tak is mulk mein khushali nahi aa sakti that's beautiful mate he's knocked it straight on the head if you fix your relationship with allah allah will fix your relationship with the people ulama se sikhunga logon se sikhunga beautiful mate Like I said, if you do this, if you have a good relationship with scholars and people of knowledge experts in their fields, you will do fine inshallah my brother. I wish you all the best and yeah man, just just stay in your lane. Don't get too big for your boots and inshallah you'll guide loads of people with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah keep you steadfast, me steadfast and all the viewers and the ummah and the people on this planet. and you know now i have to now i just started now i have to keep going on other planets undiscovered uh, wherever life may be i mean